Many PC makers say that someday you'll be able to tell your computer what to do and it will obey. That concept is a reality on the Macintosh today because the Mac OS comes with built-in speech recognition and a built-in scripting language called AppleScript. Using these tools, you can create a voice-driven command that will automatically bring up your personal workspace on your Macintosh. Macintosh, this is Mike. Hello, Mike. Let me set up your workspace for you. There you go, Mike. Most PCs, by contrast, have no built-in speech recognition, so we'd have to purchase and install the necessary hardware and software ourselves. And even then, there is no scripting function in Windows 95, so we still can't create a script to change the user interface as we did on the Macintosh. Another technology that is becoming a big part of today's complex multimedia documents is 3D. It used to be that 3D graphics could only be created on expensive, high-powered workstations specifically designed for the task. But now, Apple has built these capabilities into the Mac OS with QuickDraw 3D. QuickDraw 3D runs on any Power Macintosh and allows you to create and edit sophisticated 3D graphics at surprising speeds. And because QuickDraw 3D is an integral part of the operating system, you can even work with 3D objects using Simple Text, the editor that comes bundled with every Macintosh. And of course, you can store 3D objects in the scrapbook just as easily as text, graphics, sound, and video. With Windows 95, 3D is not part of the operating system, which makes it hard to share 3D objects between programs. So, for example, if you drag a 3D object into the editor bundled with Windows 95, you might be surprised with the results. If you're interested in combining the power of your computer with your video camera and VCR, you'll find that the Macintosh offers easier solutions than Windows 95 machines. For instance, this Power Macintosh comes with the video input and video output capabilities built in. So if you want to create video to share with others, you can simply assemble your movie segments, preview your work on the Macintosh, and then output the movie to a videotape in your VCR. And what does it take to get this same capability on a Windows 95 PC? The same old thing. Another multimedia capability that's raising a lot of interest these days is virtual reality. And Apple is leading the way with QuickTime VR. This technology allows you to create rich, three-dimensional environments and to view them in full 360 degrees. Here's a QuickTime VR movie that BMW posted on the World Wide Web. It's a movie of the new BMW Z3 Roadster that's featured in the latest James Bond adventure. As you can see, Apple makes multimedia easier to use than a PC running Windows 95. And it gives you access to advanced capabilities sooner than Windows 95, which is why the Macintosh is the most popular computer for multimedia in the world. Apple has once again pushed closer to the holy grail of computing, a single machine that can operate DOS, Windows, and Macintosh programs. You might say, okay, Macintosh is still much easier to use than a PC running Windows 95, and it offers advanced multimedia that I can't get with Windows 95. But there are a lot of PCs out there in the world, and I need a computer that's compatible with them all. The good news is, with a Macintosh, that's precisely what you have because every Power Macintosh sold today comes with the ability to read from and write to PC disks. So we can take a document created in Microsoft Word on a Windows 95 PC and open it on our Macintosh. Another big argument for Windows is that there are Windows applications that aren't available in a Macintosh version. But the fact is, you can run just about any Windows application on your Macintosh as well. You can use an emulator program like Soft Windows, or for better performance, you can install a PC compatibility card. 
This solution adds a Pentium processor to your Macintosh so you can toggle between Windows and Macintosh programs without restarting your computer. So, for example, on this one Macintosh, we could copy an image from Microsoft Paint for Windows 95. Then paste that image into a Microsoft Word for Macintosh document running under the Macintosh operating system. And because we have both a PowerPC processor and a Pentium processor in this Macintosh, we can do two things at the same time. For instance, I can download a file from the World Wide Web with my Macintosh and switch over to my Windows word processor and continue working. We've just seen that Macintosh computers offer more ease of use, more power, more advanced multimedia, and more compatibility options. And what do these advantages add up to? More satisfied customers. In survey after survey, Macintosh customers have indicated that they are more satisfied with their computers than users of PCs. In a recent survey of 50,000 computer users conducted by Computer Intelligence InfoCorp, Macintosh won the highest ratings from business, home, and education users alike. Other studies have shown that Macintosh is the most reliable PC that Macintosh requires the least technical support of any PC. Apple also won top honors in the J.D. Power's 1995 End User Satisfaction Survey. Ratings like these are some of the reasons customers have purchased more than 23 million Macintosh computers. And those tens of millions of satisfied customers are the most important proof of the advantages of Macintosh.